Hey, Ralph Mann with Mann's Adventures. This is day two of our composting experiment. Uh, I'll link down below where we built the compost. We've got one day in and we're already at 120 degrees, which means that it's working. Our pile has shrunk, but uh, due, due to our good friends, Stan and Debbie Veal, we just hit the mother load. What I mean by that is we have tomato plants and some okra plants that they pulled up from their garden. And so we're going to be adding those in to our compost pile. Tomatoes are very high in nitrogen and so we'll have to add a lot more carbon to go along with it. But we've got leaves, we've got more sawdust, we also have shredded paper. So this will be full here in just a few minutes and uh, we'll have to wet it and uh, we've got the water hose out we'll wet this as we go and uh, this will probably be full by the time we get all of this in uh, we'll probably even have to build another one of our cages so that uh, we can get the rest of it going but we don't want to waste time and let's go ahead and get some really good compost made at 120 degrees, that means anything between 100 and 130 means it's active. That means that the micro uh, organisms in there are starting to eat away at it and turning it into compost. And so we're going to add to it, and we've got more food scraps as well. So when dealing with uh, the larger stalks, it will still burn it up. And uh, we've got some plastic on here. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to make sure that we don't put the tomatoes in there just so that we don't have to worry about seeds growing. But when dealing with those big stalks, you do need to cut some of this up. I'm using shears to cut it up. That way there's more surface area and it will actually uh, compost a heck of a lot faster. That's a good load of nitrogen cut up and in there and now we're going to add some carbon. We added quite a bit of nitrogen. Now we're going to add carbon. This layer happens to be uh, shredded paper. We're in the insurance business and that's one of my jobs that uh, we have old insurance personal documents that we have to shred so this is a good way to put it to use. Everything is shredded so everybody's information is safe but now we can turn it into compost. Don't want it too wet, just want it moist, don't want water running out. This is going to help, oxygen and water is going to help create the heat and the temperature that we need for the microorganisms to break down all of this compost. More tomato and okra plants and more leaves. More nitrogen, tomato plants and uh, mainly tomato plants there which are high in nitrogen. And then we've added shredded paper again. We're going to wet it down. And we still have a ton to go. We added water to moisten it. Don't want it too wet. And then we also added a little uh, already compost uh, into it to add the enzymes and microbes so that they'll help activate it. More tomato plants on. A little more leaves and we'll wet it down and call it a day. Final topping of leaves for today. The thermometer is back in and we'll check it tomorrow and see what the temperature gets to. It was 120 today, uh, but we have added an awful lot to it, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll keep you updated. Again, like I said on the last video, uh, if you have suggestions for us be sure and let us know down in the comments uh, we're doing the best we can with the first time try we've been using tumbler barrels in the past but this is our first time at one of these outsides and it actually looks pretty good but uh, we'll see how it comes out give us a thumbs up subscribe if you like and we'll see you in the next video